our third general body meeting. Um, this is also going to be our last meeting of the year. So thank you guys so much for sticking with us and attending all of our meetings so far and engaging in all of our opportunities. Um, this meeting will be posted on YouTube shortly after it ends, and this PowerPoint will be emailed to all member, members registered on our membership roster. Please complete the attendance survey posted in the chat at the end of the session today so that you can receive one attendance point for coming today. You will receive two attendance points if you turn your camera on. Okay, so just a meeting overview. Um, we do have some few um, new board additions, so we're going to go through that. Um, and then we're going to showcase our member of the month if you already haven't seen it on our social media. Then we'll kind of go into Warrior Rewards. Jessica will give an explanation of what that is. Um, and then our social media team and our treasurer will go into merchandise and fundraisers. Um, I'll go into mentoring and we'll talk a little bit about upcoming opportunities. And then Jessica will talk a bit about our winter break schedule. And then I will be going into the winter 2021 schedule. So our new board additions. Hey guys, my name is Carlos. Uh, so I'm not new to the board, but I have a new position. I'm now the treasurer. So my current duties right now are maintaining accurate financial records, managing the club's bank account and Venmo account. Uh, as well as coordinating with other clubs uh, members to to generate and collect funds. Uh, I've also been reporting financial records at all the board meetings we've been having and uh, coordinating closely with DOSO to get gifts for you guys. Hi guys, my name is Mariana. I am the event spokesperson. Uh, so I am a junior majoring in biomedical physics and neuroscience at the minor in Latin American studies. Um, I won't go through all my activities, but um, that's my ferret in the picture. Her name's Alfredo, and she's got a brother named Chicken. Um, and then some of the duties that I have are leading shadow sessions with graduate students and medical professionals, and then also managing the session. So uh, reading off the introduction, reading any questions in the chat, and then giving a conclusion, and then contacting the speakers to set up the agenda for all the sessions. Hi everyone, I am Christina Simon and I am a new member of the social media chair. Um, I am a junior studying public health with a neuroscience minor. Um, I'm also a Kaplan student brand ambassador, a school information director for PPMS, and I've also been a CPR trainer for Hands Only CPR. And some of the duties of a social media chair include, but not limited to, uh, man managing um, so uh, Instagram and YouTube, where we post our videos after um, shadowing sessions and workshops. Um, we also design in our posts that we post on Instagram for upcoming grad um, sessions and workshops, etc. And we also keep you guys up to date on any changes to our org policies. And you can um, reach me at um, the email that I've provided down below if you have any questions. Hello everyone, uh, I'm Miriam Halim. I am a sophomore majoring in biomedical engineering, uh, minoring in chemistry. Uh, some of my activities include um, being an undergraduate TA for an intro to programming course. Um, I'm also a volunteer at my church in Windsor. Um, I'm the social chair for uh, BMES um, and I am a member of Engineering Without Borders. Um, I have the same duties as um, Christina um, and my contact information is just my email there. Hey guys, I'm Sarah. Um, I've introduced myself in the past, but I'm basically I'm a sophomore in geology. I'm on the medical track. Um, and then I'm a PT tech right now and I'm also a Red Cross ambassador. My duties are pretty similar to what they've been. I'm going to be managing the mentoring. And I'm also the one that's sending you guys the reminders and anything. So if you guys ever need anything, you can um, PM me on GroupMe or shoot me an email or anything. OK, so now we're going to introduce our member of the month uh, for November. Um, so our member of the month was Katija. Um, she has been super active at all of our events. She's shown a ton of participation. Um, asked the most awesome questions, seems very engaged in the organization. We're so happy to have her.
So I'm going to be talking about um, the warrior reward. So I'm going to share my screen real quick. Um, can you guys see that? Yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Um, so the Warrior Rewards is a program that is ran by Wayne State University and therefore only for Wayne State students. Um, how this works is that you have to be signed up with the program itself. So if I click this link here, it's going to take me to the sign up page. And you can sign up right here where it says sign up. If I click it, it won't let me show you what the um, sign up sheet looks like because I'm already signed up. but. Um, Basically, you just click that button and go through the steps. It's pretty simple. Um, this link will be sent through this PowerPoint at the end of this meeting, and it's also in our link tree in our Instagram bio. Um, so you can access it there. Um, any issues with the sign up should be addressed to either Heather Marks or um, Teresa Wesolowski right down here. Um, they are in charge of running the program. Um, so any issues with that should be sent to them. Um, so what the Warrior Rewards really is, is that we will put um, in, we will put events into Get Involved, and we either update your attendance for each event, or um, we send out a link from Get Involved that will input your attendance for you. If you attended the past couple sessions for um, a workshop or like an admissions panel. Um, those would have the get involved links. Um, each event equals one point. General body meetings like this do not count as events, so they don't count as points towards uh, Warrior Rewards, but any event other than that should count. Um, so seven points or seven events, you would get a Wayne State t-shirt. 14 points or 14 events, you would get a Wayne State crew neck. Um, this should be relatively easy to earn within our club because we have so many events going on. So I thought this would be a good way for everyone to get a prize. Um, these items are shipped to your house and then you have all year. So this semester and next semester to earn points and the program restarts. So next fall, um, any summer events would be excluded from this. So it just resets next fall. And then I can show you what my own path looks like on get involved. So if I click this here, I think, no, no, sorry. If I click my icon here um, and I go to paths, and I click paths, it's going to show me this screen with my overall progress for the warrior rewards. And you can see here it's for the 2020, 2021 semesters. Um, and if I click here, you can see that I've attended four virtual events. Um, so that gives me four points to the Wayne State t-shirt. Um, if I complete all seven of them, I get the t-shirt. And if I complete all 14, I get the crew neck as well. Um, so that's basically it. Does anyone have questions on it? No, okay. And so I'm just gonna emphasize that you have to be signed up to get any points for this program. So just make sure you're signed up. Um, I can stop sh screen sharing so Bisma can start again. Um, somebody asked for the link. Um, oh. If you do want the link, it's in our link tree. Um, some One of our secretaries, if you can also send it in the chat. Okay, so attendance. To track attendance for workshops and admissions panels, all events aside from shadow sessions, we will now be using Get Involved. Um, so we will send you a link at the end of each event in which you'll be required to log into your Wayne State University account and your attendance will automatically be recorded. It is really important you do this once the link is sent, especially because you can win Warrior Rewards. To track attendance for shadow sessions and general body meetings, we'll be using Google surveys where you will be required to summarize a case study slash session. We will manually input this into get involved for shadow sessions so you can still receive attendance points for Warrior Rewards. So now we're going to go into merchandise and fundraisers. Um, so we're going to be selling our merchandise through Teespring. And I don't know, Bisma, if you want to go to that or if you want me to start sharing my screen and walk through it, I can do that. So yeah, this is our website that we have all of our merch on. 
So we have a few long sleeve t-shirts and some stickers and mugs, a mask, joggers, and then our social media team is gonna walk through those. But basically um, it's really easy. All you have to do is just click on whatever you want. Um, and then we have like different colors for different things. So um, for our hoodie, we have a black, gray, and teal, and then you can select your size and how many you want. And then you just add it to your cart And yep, and then there are different, and then if you do purchase merchandise, you will get one participation point per item. And then everything should be available by next week for purchase. Hey guys, so this is a close up of our merch. As you can see, we have long sleeve t-shirts, hoodies, and crew necks. All of these come in various colors, such as black, white, gray, and navy and teal for our hoodie. And you can decide what color you want to buy, which is awesome. Also, you can buy different products in different colors and like mix and match them. Um, here we have our uh, three sticker options. Uh, they are at a price of $4. Um, these are also um, actually hand-drawn by uh, one of our social media members, um, Aditi. Um, she did a great job with those. We also have mugs. Um, so for any of you coffee and tea drinkers, these will definitely come in handy, especially, especially in these circumstances. Um, we got joggers too, and we have face masks as well. And um, as uh, Miriam also said, these, uh, the, the heart that you see, the, 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 those can also come in stickers too for like your laptops. Um, we also put that on our mug too. Um, she's so talented, so um, we decided to go with the mugs as well. Um, so before we move on from merchandise, a very small portion of these items uh, will go towards our club. Um, I believe it's just 10 or 15 percent. Um, so if you do purchase these items, you are supporting us and they are pretty useful items um, that you can, you know, just use to support us or just to show that you're a pre-healthcare student. So as you guys have probably heard, we are partnering with Krispy Kreme to do a fundraiser. So basically what's gonna happen is you guys have the opportunity to purchase uh, a, a voucher. So you can take this like coupon thing and you can take it to any location of Krispy Kreme that's near you. And you have, you can turn that in whenever you want, or, uh, excuse me. Uh, there's no like real time limit, I believe. Uh, so we're selling them from December 7th to December 22nd. And uh, the vouchers are gonna cost eight for one or 15 for two. So, you know, uh, they make great gifts, you know. Uh, it's also not restricted just our members, you know, tell your family, tell your friends, uh, tell your neighbors. Um, so this is, this is a way to kind of help us uh, kind of grow and offer you guys more opportunities. As we've been kind of getting bigger, it's, um, we're kind of looking to uh, find more opportunities for you guys especially the workshops that I know you guys all have really enjoyed and you know you get like the certification so uh, there's a lot of really cool ones but they kind of do uh, they want to they want us to pay for them so if you guys help us out um, we'll be able to offer you guys more opportunities um, also anyone who donates um, uh, to this uh, fundraiser every dollar will count you towards one dollar towards the raffle entry uh, Bismuth, if you want to go to the next page please there's more information yeah, before um, before we uh, end this slide off, somebody asked in the chat, weren't they um, $10? We actually just lowered the price today right. to $8. Um, so we are kind of having like a sale slash deal. Um, so please purchase those while you can. Uh, so the raffle thing. So every dollar you guys donate or any for uh, any platform, not even if it's just for the fundraiser, if you guys just want to straight up make a donation, we accept that as well uh every dollar will give you one raffle ticket and at the end of the month we'll be choosing uh two participants uh to win like a wayne state merch uh care package so uh the prizes aren't definitely set but um it'll be like some wayne state things uh probably some club med virtual things too so look forward to that and uh how you donate is uh we accept venmo and zell so um, just make sure you guys include your emails in there, please, so we have a way to contact you as well. 
Okay, so now we'll go into mentoring. Um, so as most of you guys know, we offer drop-in mentor sessions open to all students each month through upperclassmen pre healthcare students who are in junior standing or higher from any college or university. And these sessions don't require any registration or signups. Um, so they may offer advice on a number of different topics, including research, general college advice, or guidance on various tracks, such as pre-med, dental, PA, farm, PT, optometry, et cetera. Um, so the December mentor schedule, descriptions of each mentor, and Zoom links can be found on our mentor Google Calendar, which is linked there. It's also in our link tree. So we are going to do some brief mentor introductions. Um, before we begin, I just wanted to mention that Emily, Sonia, and Courtney were not able to attend today. So if you do want to learn more about them, please feel free to read their descriptions on the calendar. Um, and you can also check them out on our social media. They are in our mentoring highlight. You can see a photo of them and read their bio. Um, but aside from them, we'll just go in order, starting with Aram, please. Hi guys, my name is Iram and I am a pre-PA um, mentor for Club Med Virtual. Um, so I have, I had a quite a few um, sessions earlier in the, um, earlier in the month. I have one coming up on the 27th, so right after like finals and stuff. So if you guys have any questions regarding like PA or um, the application process, which I'm learning about myself, but I have met with um, Wayne State counselors as well. So I know a little bit of information about that. And then if you guys need help with like um, general scheduling or which classes to take for PA school and the co um, course equivalencies for different universities, I'll be more than happy to help you guys with that. Keenan, if you wanna go. Yep, sorry, I was just getting my uh, camera. Hi, my name is Keenan Harris. I'm a senior here at Wayne State. I graduate next year. Um, I'm a pre-med student who just is doing the application process now. So I can help anyone that's doing anything with pre-med. I do a lot of research both in the hospital and at Wayne State with psychology. Um, and also any questions you guys have about college. Uh, I do some advising for another club I'm a part of. This month, because of finals, I only held one session that passed. Um, but typically in January, I'll be holding sessions every Monday around 1 to 2 p.m. Um, most likely going to be like twice a month, uh, depending on uh, exams and stuff. Hey guys, my name is Lindsay Sheeran. Uh, I'm a first year graduate student um, in the Master's of Business Management Science major in Wayne State Children's Healthcare. Um, uh, generally, my sessions are focused on um, any graduate students who are planning on doing any finals or any masters. Um, I would describe the three main themes that um, I do want to see for this semester's back. Research in biochem and medical science. And I also have two of the social development internships at Stillwater. Um, so, yeah, if you have any questions about grad school, describing uh, research internships, uh, I'm your girl. So, I have a session on the 23rd. Sorry, Lindsay, we can't hear you. Your voice is kind of cutting out. Yeah, I don't know if it was only me. <laughs> you want to try again? Can you can you hear me better now? Yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. I had my AirPods and it was probably that. Should I start over? Yeah, if you want <laughs> to. Um, so hi, my name is Lindsay Sheeran. Uh, I'm a first year graduate student in the Masters of Basic Medical Sciences program in Wayne State's medical school. Um, I recently graduated from undergrad with a BS in biology and minor chem in chemistry. Um, while I was an undergrad, I was a medical scribe. Um, I did two semesters of academic research, um, one in animal science, one in biochem. And I also had two internships um, over the summer uh, doing research for Estee Lauder. Um, so if you have any questions about graduate school, scribing, research, internships, um, you could always come to me. I have a session on December 28th at 6.30. So I'm hoping to see some of you there. Thanks. Uh, 
All right. Hello, everybody. My name is Nolan Shukri. I'm a pre-med. I'm a bio major, chem minor. Um, I'm a senior by credits, but this is my third year. I'm applying to med school right now. Um, I am a mentor for, like I said, pre-med research. Uh, anything generally you want to ask me, whether it's about planning ahead for classes or volunteering, MCAT, whatever you need. Um, other than that, my sessions have been lonely, so come visit me. Okay, that surprises me. Nolan is like the most helpful person I have ever met in my life. You guys have to go talk to him, seriously. Anthony, go ahead. All right. Hey guys, I'm Anthony Abro. I just graduated from Wayne State with my degree in biology in uh, May. Uh, I worked as like, a medical scribe for a couple of years. I did some research at Wayne's med school. Uh, I did some volunteering and I'm currently applying to med school right now and I'm going through interviews and all that. So yeah, feel free to help me, um, to ask me for help with anything. What's up guys, I'm Peter. Um, I'm a non-traditional student who uh, went back to school to uh, eventually pursue the pre-med track. So um, I'm a student at U of M Ann Arbor and I've taken classes at Wayne, OU and OCC. So um, I have a diversity of experience. I have like 200 credits right now because uh, I have a double major from a uh, non-pre-health uh, path. So I also majored in uh, Middle Eastern studies, Middle Eastern history and religions. So if anybody's like switching majors or uh, like deciding later on down the line uh, that they're switching to pre-med and uh, are confused about how to navigate that and fulfilling prereqs and stuff like that, and as well as all the other stuff like, you know, MCAT and research and volunteering and stuff like that, just uh, feel free to drop in one of my sessions and come talk. All right, hi guys, I'm Sydney Quagliato. Um, I am a pre-research student, so I'm a senior undergraduate um, student and I'm actually graduating next week, um, but I will have my mentor sessions through the winter semester, so I'll still be around. Um, but I can answer any questions. I'm a biology major, so any of those courses that are pretty applicable to almost any program, organic chemistry, um, calculus, all the bio classes, and I've taken a lot of the electives too. Um, but feel free to come to my mentor sessions are usually on Wednesdays. Um, they're pretty sparse this month because of finals, but definitely after I graduate, they'll probably be more frequent. Um, but I can answer questions about um, the application process for Wayne State's grad school, research opportunities, um, any of the classes, scheduling, anything like that. Hi, everybody. My name is Amanda. I'm currently an undergrad student at Wayne State. This is my third year, but I'll be graduating in May. Um, I'm getting ready to take the MCAT this summer, and I currently just finished my a master's degree applications. So to get my master's in business, business administration prior to medical school. So I do have a mentor session this Thursday at 7 p.m. if I'm, anyone's willing to join. I had a great one um, last week, met a lot of new people, got to know them. Um, it was very interesting to meet you guys. If you guys have any questions, feel free to text me, call me, we can schedule a session. I can add some more days on my schedule, um, whatever's, whatever you guys want. Thank you. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, hi guys, my name is Melissa. Um, I'm also a mentor uh, for you guys. Um, so I am on the pre-PT track. So if you guys have any questions regarding physical therapy or just general college advice, uh, I'm here. I currently work as a rehab aide at Athletico. So I have experience with that as well as I have hours under athletic training because I'm planning on pursuing my master's in athletic training before getting the DPT. So if you have any questions about either of those two routes, just let me know. Um, I've been lacking on mentor sessions this month, but I plan on picking up after the end of finals this weekend. So, yeah. Also, fun fact, Chelsea and Melissa are not related. They're just best friends. They have the same last name. Um, Jessica, you need to step it up. Change your last name to Rana. What kind of best friend are you? <laughs> I don't know. You have to. Okay. So, we also have mentors of the month for uh, November's in addition to members of the month. 
Um, so we had Eli. Um, Eli has been super active. He's super engaging. I actually peer mentored with him and he was very invested in that position as well. Um, we're super happy to have him. And then we also have Chelsea Chaco. Um, she has been dedicated since day one. She's been with us for a really long time. Um, I believe she has accumulated the most hours as well as a mentor. Uh, she has like three hour shifts um, pretty much every single week. Uh, so definitely go talk to her if you need help with anything or any general college advice. Even though she's like a pre-dental mentor, you can still ask her for just general like life advice or college advice or research advice. Um, she's definitely there to help you out. So for shadowing, um, we do show this to you guys pretty much every single meeting, but this is just kind of like a mock certificate of what, what you would be presented with. Um, this will be given to students at the end of the winter 2021 semester. If you're graduating early or need the certificate within a certain time frame, please inform us via email. And please keep track of your hours by yourself and email it to us to compare with you um, when, you want your, when you want your certificate. So it's not mandatory for you to like list out all of your hours and keep a running document, but we highly advise you to do that and compare with us just to make sure you're getting a sufficient um, number of hours. For people that don't go to Wayne State University, please don't let the certificate discourage you from attending our sessions um, because normally med schools will not ask for a certificate or you know graduate programs. Uh, so it's really not a big deal. I think it's just like a token of um, participation. It's something cool to have, but it's not necessary for you to apply. And then these are just some upcoming opportunities that we have. So Mariana, if you wanna talk about this. Yeah, um, so we have some events coming up, but they're all happening after the break. So the first one is in January 7th uh, with Carly Funk, who's a physical therapy student. So if any of you guys are interested in going into that field, definitely attend the session. And then our other graduate student session is uh, Martin Murad, who's a dental student. Um, so again, if you guys are ever interested in any, like going into a certain field and you see that uh, someone that we're having a shadow session with is in that field or who's studying that field right now, definitely attend and ask questions. Um, and then we have two pro medical professionals who are hosting sessions. So Sherilyn Sashini, she is a pediatrician out of uh, New York and she's hosting a session January 14th. And then we have Dr. Yazdani. I'm so sorry if I mispronounce his name. I'll definitely get it right once we have a session with him, um, but he's hosting a session uh, January 20th at 7 p.m. Oh, and then we'll send out reminders too in uh, group me and through email once we get closer to those events. Um, so some upcoming point opportunities. Um, so if you purchase a merchandise item, you will get one point per item. So if you got two stickers, you could get two points. If you got a sticker and a mug, you could get two points. Um, if you got three of those, you could get three points. So this is a really good opportunity to accumulate your points, especially if you have a busy semester um, in, in the winter semester. Um, you can also make some general organization donations. So if you just want to support us in general, um, you're more than welcome to just Venmo us. If you're not really interested in, in our current fundraising things, like if you don't want Krispy Kreme or uh, if it's just not anything that's applicable to you, you can also just make general organization donations. Um, so you will get one point total per donation. It's not like per dollar. So if you were to make like a $10 donation to our club, that would be one point for donating. And then for fundraising, it's the exact same thing. You'll get one point per donation. The only um, addition to fundraising as opposed to general organization donations is if for, is for fundraising donations, you'll get inputted into a raffle. The raffle is one raffle ticket per dollar donated. And just like Carol said, at the very end of the fundraiser, um, we will draw two people's names and then the prize is still being determined. Um, it really could be anything. It could be merch. It could be like some Kaplan scholarship. It could be um, like a gift card, really, it really varies. We're still kind of talking about that, um, but it's definitely a really cool opportunity to win something. So if you want to support us and also want the opportunity to win something really cool, please donate to our fundraisers. Um, and then there's our Venmo. Um, as Carlos said, you can also Zelle um, at 248-752-4046. And then our winter break schedule. Okay, so for the winter break, so that starts um, when finals start, so the 16th, um, so next Wednesday, um, up until 
our new semester starts, so the 11th of January, we are not going to be offering any shadow sessions or events during the winter break or finals. Um, mentor sessions will still be offered, but anything in red, um, we're not going to have any events. Um, we do have one exception. Bisma, if you want to go to the next slide, I don't know if it's on there. Um, oh, I'm sorry, not to the 11th, to the 1st, uh, my mistake. Um, so anything after January 1st, we will have sessions. Um, and yeah, so we're going to resume like a week before actual classes resume. Okay, so now I kind of want to talk about winter 2021 before we end the meeting off. So next semester is a very busy semester for a lot of us, uh, not only our members, but a lot of our board. Um, a lot of people are MCATing, preparing to take, to take the exam or just graduating. So general body meetings will be done on a very limited basis next semester. Um, since this is the greatest opportunity you have to accumulate points, we highly recommend that you engage in our current upcoming point opportunities before next semester begins. So definitely take advantage of the merchandise, um, take advantage of our fundraisers, things like that, because we don't know if we're really going to be offering a lot of those opportunities next semester. Um, if I had to take a guess, we're probably going to have two more general body meetings next semester. Um, I don't think it's going to be very frequent. I don't know if we can uh, really produce that uh, with everything going on. Um, our shadow sessions will be done probably one to two times per week. And then our workshops will be done one to two times per month. Our mentor sessions will still prevail, but recruitment for mentors will be done on a very limited basis. Um, so currently we are at full capacity for our mentors. We're also at full capacity for our applicants. We've received a lot of applications um, and a majority of them have been pre-med students. Uh, so if we are if we are gonna recruit mentors in January or in the upcoming months, uh, we're kind of gonna prioritize fields aside from medicine. So if you guys have any friends that are pre-pharmacy or pre-PT or pre-optometry or pre-dental, um, anything aside from pre-med, um, you're more than welcome to tell them to apply and we'll definitely consider them, but we are at a very high capacity for our pre-med mentors at this time. Um, and then all of our events will be posted on the Google Calendar, which is included in our link tree and linked below. So maybe some of you guys um, have noticed that we are no longer using a document for all of our sessions. Uh, so we previously had two documents. One document was for our shadow sessions and then one document was, was for our workshops and other events. We're not doing that at all anymore. We just have a calendar with all of those. In that calendar, you can see the Zoom link, you can see the session date, um, and you can see what's going on with the club. If you access this calendar right now, you can see what we have booked for January. We're obviously not done booking, but we, we do have a few sessions booked already. Um, so we also have an opportunity form. Um, so you guys can tell us what you're looking into. I know a lot of people um, said medicine, but you can be more specific if you want like dermatology or peds, uh, things like that. Um, so it does take a little bit of time. We've gotten a lot of like dentists and PT and things like that. So it does take a lot of time for me and Sharon to scope out these opportunities, contact doctors, have them like send us something back and then do back and forth emails. So if you do send out opportunities um, during the break, we can try to fit them in for next semester, but it does take a little bit of time. This forum also offers sections where you can tell us what we're, uh, what you want us to do in the future, not just for um, sessions, but like things that you wanna see improvement in the club. We really appreciate um, uh, like just constructive criticism so we can provide better opportunities for you guys. Um, and then here's our Instagram page. So we post everything here. You can see like our Krispy Kreme fundraiser, um, any announcements that we have, they're gonna be on our Instagram and then even our stories and highlights and stuff, our policies. If you ever have a question, they're in our highlights. So if you ever have a question about like our club or anything, you can always check our Instagram and it'll probably be answered there. And then our YouTube channel, we always, or when we do have consent to, we always record our sessions and upload them to YouTube. So if you ever need to go back and rewatch something, or if you had a question that was answered, it'll be on YouTube. 
All right, if you ever need to contact anybody on our board here, all of our e emails, this will be emailed out to you as well. Um, thank you guys so much for attending our third general body meeting and our last meeting of the year. This session will be posted on YouTube shortly after, and this PowerPoint will be emailed to all members registered on our membership roster. Please complete the attendance survey that will be posted in the chat right now to receive one attendance point for coming today, and you will receive two points for turning your camera on. As always, please contact us if you have any questions and have a great holidays and good luck to everybody on their finals.